Hi, let's solve one previous question of live variable analysis compiler. This question was asked in GET CS 2015 set 1 question number 50. A variable x is said to be live at statement si in a program if the following three conditions hold simultaneously. First condition there exists a statement sj that uses x. Second condition, there is a path from SI to SJ in the flow graph corresponding to the program. Third condition, the path has no intervening assignment to X including at SI and SJ. The variable which are live both at statement in basic block 2 and at the statement in basic block 3 of the above control flow graph are and four options are given. This is the control flow graph and it is asking which variable are live in both block 2 and block 3. Let me check option wise. First I will check option A. In option A variable given are P, S, U. I will check liveness of P variable, S variable and U variable. First I will check P. Here P is defined. P is defined at block 1 first statement. And where P is used, P is used in block 1, second statement. And after that, there is no use of P. P is not used. So, P is only live in block 1, first statement to second statement. And it is dead in block 2, block 3, block 4. Even it is dead in block 1, third statement. So, you can say P is live in block 1, first to second statement. While it is dead in second block, third block and fourth block even in block one also as it is not live in all statement next we'll check variable s where s is defined s is defined here where s is used s is used here and s is used here so there exists a statement sj that uses x so statement three of block one uses s then block three statement also uses s and there should be a path. Yes, there is a path. There is no intervening assignment. So, S is live in block 1, second statement, third statement and in block 3. As there is a loop, so every time here it will be redefined. After block 3, every time here it will be redefined. So, S is live only in block 1 and block 3, not in block and block 4. It is dead in block 2 and block 4. Next we will check u where u is defined. u is defined here in block 1 third statement and where u is used. It is used in block 2 statement. It is used in block 3 statement. So u is live in this path 1 to 2 and 1 to 3. There is a path and it is used and there is no intervening assignment. It satisfies all the three conditions. So, U is live in block 2, block 3 and in block 1, third statement onward. But not in block 4 as there is a loop. Every time here it will be redefined. And after 2 and 3 block there is no use. U is not used. So, after block 2 and block 3 it will be dead. U is live in first block third statement and block 2 and block 3 while it is dead in block 4. Even it is not live in whole first block, it is just live in third statement of block. After this it is live. P is not live in second block and third block. S is live only in block 3 but not in block 2. U is live in block 2 and block 3. Due to these two, option A is wrong. Next, we will check option B. S variable and U variable we already check. We just check R variable. Where R is defined, there is no definition for R. Where R is used, R is used here, R is used here, R is used in block 4. So, R is live in block 1, block 2, block 4. Also in block 3 as there is a path. So block 1 to block 4 there is a path to block 3. So it is also live in block 3. So R is live in all block 1, 2, 3, 4. S is live only in block 3. U is live in 2 and 3. So due to this S option B is wrong. Next option C. 
R is life in block 1, 2, 3, 4 and U is life in block 2 and 3. So R and U both are life in block 2 and block 3. So this is the correct option. Next option D, Q and V. Where Q is defined, Q is defined in block 3. But after this immediately in block 4 it is redefined. So after block 3 Q is dead. And after block 4 in block 1 it is used. In block 1 here it is used, here it is used. So in block 4 to block 1 it is live. And after block 1 it is dead as it is redefined in block 3. So Q is live in block 4 and block 1 but not in block 3. 2 and block 3 where v is defined v is defined here and v is used in block 4 and v is used in block 1 so it is life in 2 in 4 in 1 and as in as from block 1 to block 4 there is a path so in block 3 also it is life but it is not life in this path as v is redefined here block 1 to block 2 path it is not life it is live in block 2, block 4, then block 1, then block 3. So, got answer option C. R and U are live in both block 2 and block 3. In live variable analysis lecture, I explain live variable analysis by using in and out according to Ullman book. Those who have followed my lecture may be comfortable by using in and out. So, let me do by using in and out that you can understand. So what is formula for out? Out will be union of successor in. Then in formula is u of p union out of b minus def of p. In in of block we are using use and def. So let me first find use of every block and def of every block. Now what will be use of 1? Use of 1 will be q, then r, then p, then s and v. What is in RHS side? Then what will be def of 1? Def of 1 will be P and S and U. And def have R precedence than use as P, S, U are defined. So it cannot be in U. So we'll just delete P, S. So in use of block 1, Q, R, B and def of block 1 contain P, S, U. Next use of block 2 contain R and U while def of 2 will contain V. Next, use of block 3 will contain S and U, while def of 3 will contain Q. Next, use of block 4 will contain V and R, while def of block 4 will contain Q. So, these are all about use and def. Next, we'll find out and in. And we'll do live variable analysis backward. We'll start from the last block. We'll start from the block 4. Out of block 4 will be in of its successor and its successor is block 1. So out of block 4 will be in of block 1 and in of block 1 is QRV. What it uses? It uses QRV. Next in of block 4, in of block 4 will be use of block 4. Use of block 4 is RV union out of B minus def of block 4 that is Q. So it will be RV union QBR that is out of block 4 minus Q. Q is the def of 4. So this Q will be cancelled, we will get RB. So inner block 4 is RV while out of block 4 is QRV. Next we will do for block 3. Out of block 3 will be inner block 4, it will be RV. Next, in of block 3, in of block 3 will be use of block 3. Use of block 3 is what? S, U. Then, out of block 3, that is R, V minus def of block 3, def of block 3 is Q. There is nothing common, so R, V union S, U. It will be R, S, U, B. Next, out of block 2. Out of block 2 will be in of its successor. In of successor means in of block 4. In of block 4 is RV, so out of 2 will be RV. Next, in of block 2, in of block 2 will be use of 2. What is use of 2? RU union. Then what is out of 2? It is RV minus def of 2, that is B. So this B will be cancelled. From this, we will get R and RU. Union will be RU. 
next out of block 1 out of block 1 will be n of its successor union so n of 2 union n of 3 what is n of 2 n of 2 is r u what is n of 3 it is r s u v now both union will be r s u v next n of block 1 n of block 1 will be u of 1 that is q r v union out of 1 that is r s u v minus def of 1 that is p s u so what is common s u or common will cancel s u from this we will get r v and here q r v so n of 1 will be q r v we found in and out for all block let me write down so n of block 1 will be q r v while out of block 1 is r s u v then in of block 2 is r u while out of block 2 is r v in of block 3 is r s u v while out of block 3 is r v then in of block 4 is r v while out of block 4 is q r v now the question was which variable are live in block and block 3 you can check in block 2 r u are coming as live r u are in in of block 2 while r s u v are in of block 3 so both intersection will be r u r u are the variable that is live in both block 2 and block 3 here you can see in block 2 r u are in in while r v are in out this u is not live after block 2 as u is redefined here and you have no nest use. After block 2 in block 4 you have no nest use. So that's why after block 2 it is not live. Here also you can see after block 3 it is not live as in this path here it is redefined. And in block 4 r and v are live as in while in out q is live after this q definition q is live and just mark another thing there should be entry at the beginning of the block and it should exit at the end of the block there should not be any edge at the middle it should be at the beginning so here answer is r and u this is the complete live variable analysis of this control flow graph I already discussed live variable analysis just go through that lecture you can easily understand this if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you